welcome to the new episode of mm practical in this session i am going to discuss about <coughs> the flash software so basically flash is the animation software in which you can design your element your uh, uh, you can say the different objects your graphics and you can animate them so flash is basically the uh, uh, the macromedia flash the macromedia company has uh, take over the flash from the adobe right so i'm going to discuss about this software so you have to select a new document from create new section new flash document select and after that you will get this uh, screen where you can design your animation so i'll discuss mm, so in flash basically you can design a 2d uh, animation uh, in the market we have 3d 4d 5d and up to 6d uh, animation you might have heard in the world of multimedia so uh, in in 2d in in this flash you can also design i mean you can give a feel to the uh, end user that you have created the uh, 3d design but it is actually a 2d design by applying the different shades of the color you can give the depth uh, uh, feel of the object so that is about the flash um, in flash uh, you can add audio video i mean sound you can create video you can add text graphics i mean different size of different uh, types of images and you can create the animation you can animate the object right so all multimedia elements uh, you can add in this so i'll discuss today flash so first of all we have the title bar then we have the menu bar and then after we have the uh, uh, the timeline area it starts from uh, untitled to up to this scroll horizontal scroll uh, scrolling bar so <laughs> in timeline area in timeline bar uh, it divides in two panel and after that we have the gray and white color area is called the working area the white paper is called the stage and the gray plus white is your working area on the gray paper also you can draw but when you show your final output of your document flash document uh, it shows only the white color area visible to the end user right uh, so you just have to draw your object on that white area so that's called a stage and the gray color area plus white is called the working area where you can design your object the elements the left hand side we have the tool panel the basic tools are similar to the paint but uh, uh, the flash gives uh, much more functionality than the paint uh, i'll discuss with you in detail um it much much more flexible than the paint actually so let's talk about the timeline area so basically timeline area divides in two parts the left hand side we have layer and right hand side we have the keyframe area so that is the red color bar is the timeline head and these all are the keyframes so in number of frames are there the layering system we have so you can create a multiple layer in one layer the multiple frames or keyframes you can create so uh, similarly in n number of layers you can create n number of frames and keyframes and all right so um, the layering system we have it is also the main advantage of the flash which is given by the flash so uh, just to overlapping a two different element without any uh, cutting area or uh, uh, i mean you just don't need to uh, uh, i mean destroy your original element shape right so we have the layer effect so in tool uh, today i'm going to show you how to create a smiley face so first of all i'm going to select the oval tool 
so I'm going to create a circle using oval tool so using mouse you have to use drag and drop option and you can create a circle since the paint bucket color is black so my object filled with black color now I'm going to select the yellow color and you have to select paint bucket tool and click uh, inside the shape so it will color up the shape so now I'm going to create the eye portion so outer side eye portion with black color and now I want white color so first I'll select the white color and then I'm going to draw the inside eye portion area select the see now I want to copy the same uh, eye I mean I want to create a two similar eyes so I'll copy it and paste it see in paste we have two options paste in center and paste in place so in paste in place if you select so the copied object paste onto the center area and paste in place so at the same position it will paste your object so you just have to move your original copied object so I'll press uh, right hand side arrow key to move the selected object so you can see I have now two objects uh, eye you can also flip your uh, object see uh, both the eyes looking to the same direction I mean right bottom so you can flip your object so from modify and from transform option you have to select flip horizontal so that you can flip your object see now I'll select the eye and I'll place it onto the face but see I'll show you uh, the problem if you select uh, if you create a multiple object on same frame I mean uh, since uh, see now I'm going to select the one eye and I'll just move it so you can see that uh, the original space area right so yellow color removes and from that portion you can see the background area which is the white color paper right so if your ob I mean uh, after creating your object if you don't want to I mean if you are not going to move your object right so no, not an issue you can create it in one layer but suppose if you want to move it so better is to create in separate layer so you can also uh, I mean refill that color area not an issue but uh, again I want to change the uh, position so I'll undo it and I'll cut it and I'll create a new layer by clicking on that plus uh, button layer area and see I'll select the first keyframe and I'll press con uh, control V right so uh, to paste that same object uh, at same position but in another layer in layer 2 so by clicking on the hide button of layer 2 to hide and unhide the object see so now both the objects in two different layers in layer 2 I have eye portion in layer 1 I have face portion right the face element or we can say object see you can see that eye and the face now what I'm going to do I'll hide the face and I want to again uh, modify the op uh, eye so transform and flip horizontal so again original position came of the eye but now I want to create a smile so I'll select a line tool after drawing a sing straight line you have to select a selection tool the first one is the selection tool you just have to move over to your straight line you can see that your mouse pointer uh, shows the curve symbol and you just have to drag your line downwards right to uh, create the um, uh, curve line instead of I mean straight line convert it a straight line into the curve line you can uh, move it in any direction not an issue right and multiple times uh, paint won't allow you to uh, uh, create your uh, curve line multiple times right in one or two shots you have to apply the curve 
fine so i mean at any uh, position at any uh, keyframe you can uh, uh, convert your straight line into the curve line or the convert your curve line into the straight line both will work right so that is the benefit <laughs> so now what i'm going to do uh, i'll show you here the simple motion Uh, which is called a frame by frame motion so i am going to create a two frame in one frame i'll select like uh, see this is the swf file by pressing control and enter you can show your file the final output it's a steady image right there's no movement so to uh, open this file you have to press control and enter key right uh, at same time so i'll close it it's a show file it's similar like your ppt file and pps file flash document file extension is dot fla and show file extension is dot swf So now I'm going to create uh, another keyframe on layer two and one both. So what have you have to do? You have to select the second keyframe on layer two and press F six. And similarly on layer one also select that second keyframe and press F six. So F six is to insert a keyframe. Now see. Uh, you have to just uh, uh, select the selection tool and. convert your curve line right and move it uh, to upward side right so it shows like sad face so now i have two frame in one frame i have smile face and in second frame i have sad face right there's no change in layer 1 but there is a change in layer 2 uh, and changes with only the uh, the the smile in line right and um, by pressing your uh, simply enter you can see that <coughs> the movement see this is playing like uh, uh, frame 1 and 2 and if you press control and enter so this is your show file which continuously shows which continuously playing frame 1 2 1 2 1 2 but the speed is so high so i'm going to uh, reduce the speed so you have to just click on that 12.0 fps area so double click on it so that will open up the document property you can set the different document property about this document only so from this document property you have to select apply the frame rate so i'll select uh, the two frame rate so frame per second is the fps the full form of fps is frame per second so you can see that my speed uh, uh, the animation speed is reduced right so it plays like two frame per seconds right so that's it <coughs> thanks for watching my video we'll meet soon in the next session